Hey, it's Eric G. Around the House is sponsored by Baldwin Hardware. For 75 years, Baldwin Hardware has been known for its first class quality and craftsmanship in door and cabinetry hardware. As an alumnus of the Baldwin Hardware Design Council, I can say I have seen the details and quality from design to the finished product. If you're looking for a new style and old world craftsmanship, I can tell you there is only one Baldwin Hardware. Check out what would look great in your home at baldwinhardware.com. It's Around the House. When it comes to remodeling and renovating your home, there is a lot to know, but we've got you covered. This is Around the House. Welcome to the Around the House show. This is where we help you get the most out of your home through information and education. Happy midweek special, everybody. Well, this is a very important week for Around the House this week. On Saturday is our 35th birthday, and yes, I am the fourth host of Around the House Show, and uh, I took it over from Handyman Bob years ago and became his co-host, and then when he retired, I took over the show, and here we are today. So we have a big birthday celebration coming up this weekend. So just so you know, if you're listening to us here on the podcast player, like on Apple, for instance, If you ever need to go back and find more information, we have almost a thousand episodes that are out hiding on the interweb. How do you find it? Well, Apple only puts up 299 or 300 of those at any one time. That's their max. However, if you head over to aroundthehouseonline.com, you'll be able to find us over there and uh, hit the uh, listen to the Around the House show there, and you'll find years and years and years and thousand over a thousand episodes hanging out over there for you to take a listen to. So there's a lot of depth, in-depth discussion over there for you to take a look at. So if there's a subject you want to dive in on, we've got some amazing guests over there that have happened over the last number of years. All right. Well, another piece I wanted to talk about today is we have a YouTube page now for the Around the House Northwest that is over And it's pretty easy to find if you just search KPTV Fox 12 Oregon. That's KPTV Fox 12 Oregon on YouTube. You can go over and find the Around the House playlist. And we have a boat full of stuff hiding over there. So we have um, last week I did a a segment on uh, this cool Delta glass rinser. So kind of like what you see at your favorite pub or tavern where you can put the pint glass over the top. It's great for baby bottles to pint glasses. And I installed one of those in my house. We did a a video on repairing drywall. I went out and visited the Gordon House here in Oregon, which is a Frank Lloyd Wright masterpiece. His version of affordable housing did a whole tour of that. And then uh, I showed you how to clean out that vanity drain without using some of the nasty chemicals. And then we talked about a couple products, actually three, Ting that senses electricity, uh, predicts an electrical fire, sends to cover your uh, home energy monitoring, and of course, root quencher. And then uh, went back and talked with Wesco Boots. That is one of my favorite videos of all time that we've done. Did a tour of a handmade boot factory, so you can watch that. And then we talked about working with electrical, basic electrical tools, and how to fix that leaky toilet. We talked with my friend Jamie Gold. You've probably seen her and I work together on uh, a couple different things. Her and I do a, a lot. Of, I contribute to a lot of her discussions over on Forbes.com. She's a writer there and an author. And then, uh, but yeah, we talked about a ton of stuff. Talked with Roger Wakefield and Carrier. Talked about how to fix that exterior leaky faucet and how to fix that Delta leaky faucet, that old single handle that's been around for decades. And then uh, the latest from Clopay Garage Doors. We got Josh Christian from the Home Technology Association. And then we did a cool tour of Mac Grills. If you love barbecue, head over and take a look at that tour. And then we have uh, Perform Like a Pro. We did a thing on, uh, well, tuning up your HVAC system. So there is so much more going back in this page. That's just a portion of it, including my top 10 mistakes you can make when designing a kitchen. And uh, each week you will see those videos from the TV show get pushed up over there. So that is so much that we're doing over there. And uh, just look over on YouTube, KPTV Fox 12 Oregon, and then find the Around the House playlist, which is easy under playlists. When in doubt, you can head over to Around the House online.com and we'll put a link up over there so you can find it there as well. 
That way you can find all the cool videos. And those are all stuff that will be coming up every single week. You'll see six or seven new each week getting posted over there. So that's going to be your resource. Now, if you've got a home improvement question that you want me to answer either on air or in the TV show, head over to uh, kptv.com. Go to the Around the House page there, and you can submit your video and uh, take a selfie video and send it over. And I would love to answer that on video for you and how to finish up that project that you're trying to do. Maybe it's your better half that hasn't even got the project done yet and you need help to get it finished up. I'll help you get it knocked out. Well, today we didn't have too many recalls to talk about. It looks like Burnham Commercial recalls some natural gas boilers due to a burn hazard. And then Kawasaki Motors USA recalls engines sold on Ferris and SCAG riding lawnmowers due to a burn and fire hazard from a high pressure fuel line getting damaged. So be careful. Not too many of those out there, about 33,000 of those. So keep an eye out for that and everything else we talked about last week. Now that we're really heading into spring, I wanted to talk a little bit about where I see things going here because I think this is going to be a great summer for DIY projects because, you know, new home construction clearly has slowed down. And I think what that's going to do is that's going to keep those lumber prices down a little bit. You know, if I look here at, you know, at my local Home Depot, a two by four is now down to three thirty five a piece in my area. And so I look at that and cedar fence pickets are down. And so when I look at that and I start to see, OK, our lumber prices are lower than they've been in a number of years because during the pandemic and everything else, those things went through the freaking roof. You know, when I'm at $11 now for a sheet of OSB versus the $26 it was a year or so ago, now we're looking to where projects are going to be so much more affordable for people to tackle. Now, even though we're paying four times as much for a dozen eggs than we have been, at least these DIY projects, we've seen the the lumber prices go down. So that means we're going to be able to tackle a few more of these things this summer. So really plan out your projects. And I don't see project prices going down much more than they have right now as far as lumber. We might see a little bit, but you're not going to expect much. So this is going to be the time of year if you have a little bit extra money that you want to spend on your house. Now's the time to go out and get it and uh, shop around a little bit. You know, if you're out there looking around, the, the big box stores might not be the cheapest place to buy your lumber building materials. Your local your lumber yard could be the better, so better place to get it. So get some prices. Take a look. You know, uh, there is an argument that Home Depot and Lowe's and all those other stores do buy in bigger bulk. But, you know, something it's not that much bigger bulk where it's going to make that much of a difference because they have much more overhead as well. And so I would shop your prices around, take a look. When in doubt, buy from your local lumber retailer because those are the guys I like to work with. I've got my favorite little lumber yard I work with here in Portland, and that's uh, Conrad Lumber down in Sherwood, Oregon. Those guys are my little uh, favorite place I work with. Those guys are like family down there, and they've always been a great supporter of the Around the House program. So I always hats off to those guys for their help in uh, helping me get projects done around here because, you know, a lot of these videos and stuff I do, uh, I'm doing them so, well, people can learn from them. And sometimes I'm doing projects that don't really need to tackle, so they're very expensive, and people like them help me out to get these things going. So hats off to Conrad Lumber down in Sherwood. And that's uh, my little lumber yard. And there are so many great ones across the U.S. here that are in your neighborhoods that are so friendly to work with and knowledgeable. That is a place to lean on as far as your local lumber yard. So we want to make sure these guys are, are staying in business and doing well because they're the ones that are treating the community correctly. And uh, no shame thrown toward the Home Depot and the Lowe's and the other big box stores out there. But um, always support that local lumber yard whenever you can. Now, another little tip I've got for you today is over in Facebook, there's a number of little groups that could be worthwhile for you. And this can be pretty good. This one here is um, an interesting one. It's called Deal Hunters. And it is the Lowe's slash Home Depot clearance deals. And this is a closed group of people that go around and find all the closeout deals and the prices that are across the country. 
So, for instance, uh, I'm looking at here, it looks like uh, there's a bunch of closeout deals where they're getting rid, rid of uh, Metabo in a lot of the lows. And all of a sudden, you're seeing stuff that was $150 down to $99. And all of a sudden, you can really tool up pretty quickly on closeout. So, these are things to go take a look at. Um, I, I, there are some absolutely ridiculous sales you can grab out there. So be very careful because they're out there. And some of the stuff is absolutely amazing out there. You can go in like um, 15 hours ago, there was a uh, a rigid 15 amp corded 12 inch dual bevel sliding miter saw with 70 degree miter capacity, LED cut lines, the whole deal was 499 down to 299. Uh, there's a 12, $1,300 Metabo gas-powered wheelbarrow air compressor down to $779. So these are things that are seriously on closeout that are worth taking a peek at. So uh, it's absolutely amazing. It's some of the stuff that you see on sale on here. So if you're looking at stuff from toolboxes to, to uh, geez, outdoor lawn furniture even, there is so much stuff that's out there. So take a look at it. It can save you a ton of money by joining one of these groups out there. The, the thing is, though, is you got to get after it quick because this stuff will cut, pop up there. Somebody will see it and boom, all of a sudden people are out there and it's gone. So it's one of those things that uh, you need to kind of get on and uh, monitor. But I tell you what, if you chase this stuff down, you can get some serious deals on it, which can help you in times like these. And, uh, you know, anytime you can save some money on something with, with you know, last year's lawnmower or something like that, that's not a bad thing thing to take a look at. Well, coming up on this weekend show, we've got a lot going on that I'm looking forward to. Uh, we're going to be talking with uh, Greg Holiday from Bradford White Water Heaters, talking about a new water heater that uh, I put in my house actually a couple of years ago. They've made some improvements to it since then, but uh, they are those new heat pump water heaters that can save you a ton of money. Like at my house, it saves me about 200 uh, two to $300 a year, basically, just in energy savings from that. And that's a really cool deal. Uh, and it, if you're thinking about putting a water heater in, uh, they last longer too because you don't have to worry about as much scale buildup on the inside. And so it's a good way to go there. And then some of the other challenges that we're tackling here is we're going to talk about the 10 things you need to be careful of that will actually devalue your house. And you might be surprised at what some of those are. And then the other thing we're going to talk about here is really what to do when you've hired that contractor and that project is going sideways. Maybe you walk into the bathroom and the tile's all crooked, or maybe they use the wrong color tile, or you see things that are clearly not done correctly. And I'm not talking about you micromanaging as a homeowner. I'm talking about what happens when that contractor project goes completely sideways. How do you deal with that? And so that's one of the things that you need to be careful with. And we're going to talk about how to navigate that as well in hour number one. So that's kind of one of those dual hour number one issues that you can take a look at. So we're going to we're going to help you get through that project there, as well as talk about those top 10 things that uh, can devalue your home when you're taking on those projects. All that and more coming up on our birthday edition of Around the House show this weekend, as well as we're going to have some great stuff uh, on the TV show as well. We're going to be talking, uh, we're going to go out and see, actually watch them build. And I'm actually going out to shoot this today in just a few minutes. I'll be cruising out there. We're going to go out and take a look and see how they build uh, heated floor mats. You know, the, the things you put down below the tile of the hardwood. We're going to go watch those get made. And that'll be coming up in uh, this Saturday's Around the House Northwest show. As well as we've got some discussions with Sarah Listy from Tool Girls Garage. We've got a bunch of different stuff going on. Uh, coming up on the show this weekend that you're not going to want to miss. And uh, we've got some great, great topics coming up that uh, you do not want to miss on that TV show because that's about 46 minutes of home improvement content just for you. All right, everybody, have a great rest of the week. Thanks for tuning into Around the House. I just want to say thank you, and I really appreciate it. We'd love to get some good reviews on the podcast. It's been a while since I've asked for those, but uh, that always helps us out uh, saying thank you to us over there. Uh, really appreciate some good reviews because we are always trying to get more people involved in the show. And we've got some great guests coming up, some new ones you've never heard of before. And some great new products as well that you're not going to want to miss all that and more on upcoming episodes of Around the House. Thanks for listening, everybody. Have a great rest of the week. Enjoy it. Be safe. We'll see you on Saturday. Thanks for listening to Around the House. Anywhere beyond the mean Life is
was a love song Let's be lovers We're all over the radio Take my hand, I know where to go All over the radio With you Hey, it's Eric G from Around the House. Are you planning a decking or siding project this year? If you are, you've got to check out my friends at Millboard. Millboard is a completely different kind of composite decking and cladding that enhances outdoor spaces with enduring distinction. Hand molded from the finest oak, it realistically mimics the natural grain and color of premium hardwood. If you're looking for something that doesn't look like plastic and instead real wood, check out millboard.com. Make sure and check out that interview we did just a few weeks back. That's millboard.com.